All right, let's do some practice with uh, brunsted lowry reactions. So here I have a reaction, and I want to find out what the brunsted lowry acids are and what the brunsted lowry bases are. So one thing to do is identify like a before and after. So here I have HF, and it's becoming something on this side. So the only logical thing it could really have become is F minus, because H3O plus is just that much different. So what happened from HF to F minus? Well, this lost an H plus. So remember, anything that loses an H plus is a proton donor or an acid. So that makes HF an acid. And if HF is the acid, who is it giving it to H plus two? It's giving it to water, and that makes water the base in the situation. Um, so HF is the acid, is the donor, H2O is the base. Now, if we ran this reaction in reverse, H3O would give it back to F minus, making H3O the acid and F minus the base. And another thing to say is if HF is the acid, it then becomes F minus. This is known as the conjugate base of HF. If water is the base here, H3O is the conjugate acid. Um, so they're always come in pairs in this situation. So let's go down to this. We have this substance, CH3 and H2, clearly becoming this. What has happened to make that occur? It must be receiving an H plus from water, so that makes this the base. And in this case, water is an acid. So water can be both a base or an acid, depending on the circumstances. Uh, on the other side, if this were to run in reverse, if this were to give back the H plus, that would make this the acid, and OH minus is the base. Here I have H2PO4 minus, so it looks like an acid on first glance because of these H's out front, but notice what it's becoming, it's becoming H3PO4. So it's actually receiving an H plus, again, from the water, so this is the base and water is the acid. And if it were gonna go the other way, if H3PO4 were to become H2PO4 minus, it would be giving H plus to OH minus. So this would be the acid and this would be the base. And by the way, something that can act as an acid or a base is known as amphoteric. Um, we're not gonna probably use that term much, this unit, but it's just one that can go in either direction. H2PO4 minus is also amphoteric because it acted as a base here but it could also react with water and donate H plus to water um, in that situation. So there's, there's different things going in at work here. All right, let's um, try another problem here. Um, all right, so H2CO3 acts as an acid in the presence of water. So let's write out the reaction. So if I have H2CO3 and it's reacting with water, now, if H2CO3 is acting as an acid here, it is donating an H+. Plus. So if it's donating an H+, plus, it's going to become HCO3 minus, because it's lost an H+, plus, and it gave it to water. So water is now H3O+. Plus. So that's that reaction. Here I have C6, H5, and H2, and it is acting as a base in the presence of water. So again, a base is something that receives H+. Plus. One way to think is base for buyer. It's like buying H+. Plus. So it's taking it. And so if it takes it, then it will be C6, H5, and H3+. Plus. And then what happens to the water? It is just lost in H+, plus, so it'll be OH-. minus. Sorry for my writing with the mouse is not ideal here. So anyway, that's um, Brunsted, Lowry, Acids, and Bases, and the, there's some practice there. Hopefully that makes sense. Until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.